Hello parents, do you want to build your child's confidence, boost their math skills and help them focus better? Then you are in the right place. Today I'm going to show you 8 amazing coding activities that will help your child's brain grow. If you're ready to see how coding can benefit your child, let's dive in and explore these awesome activities. I am also offering free activities on Instagram for 21 days, so don't miss the opportunity. Shape Grid Coding In this activity, we create a grid using letters and numbers. The grid looks like a simple table and each square in the grid represents a specific location, similar to coordinates of a map. Kids will receive codes like B3, A1, D4 and their job is to place the correct shape like circles, squares or triangle in the right space. If the code is B3, they will look across row B and find column 3, then place the shape in that square. If the code is A2, they will place the shape in the spot where row A and column 2 meet. You can add some variety by assigning different colors of shapes or having them follow multiple codes in a sequence. Kids have to figure out where each shape belongs based on the given code. This encourages them to think critically and use their problem solving skills. Every code is like a mini puzzle they need to solve and the more they practice, the better they get at figuring things out on their own. In this activity, kids need to pay close attention to both the letters and the numbers on the grid to place the shapes in the correct position. It helps them focus on details and avoid distractions as one small mistake could lead to placing the shape in the wrong spot. By following the codes, kids are learning how to think in steps. For example, they first look at the letter to find the row and then at the number to find the column. Color and shape coding. In this activity, the letters A, B, C, D, E represents different colors and the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 represent different shapes. Here's how the coding works. A is equal to blue, B is pink, C is yellow, D is orange and E is green. And the shapes 1 is square, 2 is triangle, 3 is heart, 4 is circle and 5 is trapezoid. When the kids are given a code, they need to decode it by identifying both the color and the shape. For example, let's say the codes are A1, D5, C4 and B3. This means A blue and 1 square, so the child will place a blue square and accordingly respectively. This encourages kids to think logically. Kids need to follow a systematic process. First identify the letter to get the color and then match the number to the correct shape. This strengthens their logical thinking as they follow steps to arrive at the right result just like in actual coding where commands are followed in sequence. The child must solve the code puzzle to figure out which shape and color to use. Each code they solve builds their problem solving skills. Kids begin to remember which letter stands for which color and which number matches the which shape. Over time, children start recognizing patterns in the codes. They will notice that the same letter always corresponds to the same color and the same number always corresponds to the same shape. This is an essential skill in both coding and math, where pattern recognition helps in problem solving. The child must be careful in reading and interpreting the codes. Even a small mistake like misreading B3 as B4 will lead to the wrong outcome. The next activity, counting colors and matching shapes. This focuses on both counting and matching. Children are given a set of numbers and colors along with a set of shapes. The goal is for them to count the number of objects in each color group and match them with the correct shape. Kids must carefully count the number of items for each color. This repetition helps strengthen their counting skills, which is a foundational math concept. As children match numbers and shapes with colors, they also reinforce their ability to recognize and differentiate between colors like red, yellow, blue and green. By associating each number with a different shapes, the kids practice identifying and differentiating shapes which supports both math and visual skills. Matching numbers to shapes based on color requires careful observation and attention to detail. This helps children improve their ability to concentrate on tasks without distractions. These activities will help them succeed in more advanced coding or programming activities later. Writing codes for shapes on a grid. In this activity, kids will use a grid to locate the code shapes. The grid is organized with columns labeled 1 to 6 and rows labeled A to F. Children will be given a set of shapes and must write the correct code to indicate their positions on the grid. This activity combines partial awareness with coding skills. Kids learn to understand and navigate a grid system. They become familiar with how to use coordinates to locate objects, which enhances their spatial reasoning skills. 
writing and interpreting codes is a fundamental part of coding this activity introduces the concept of using coordinates to pinpoint locations which is a basic coding principle finding and coding shapes requires careful observation and attention to detail kids need to be precise to ensure they record the correct codes for each shape kids will remember where shapes are located on the grid as they practice this reinforces their memory and recall abilities especially in the context of spatial information this activity encourages kids to think about how to describe the location of an object using a grid system it involves identifying patterns and systematically solving the task writing down the code involves fine motor skills helping children practice their handwriting and coordination kids learn to organize information in a structured manner by using grid coordinates color coding with shapes and numbers in this activity kids will work with a grid where rows are numbered and columns are labeled with different shapes the grid contains color coded circles and children need to write the code for each color based on its shape and row number the grid will have circles in various colors placed at the intersections of rows and columns each color is associated with a specific shape and row number kids are asked to find specific colors and note their shape and row number from the grid For each color requested they need to write the corresponding shape and row number as a code. Let's see some benefits of the activity. Kids practice identifying and remembering colors as they search for them on the grid. This reinforces their ability to distinguish between different colors. By linking colors with specific shapes and row numbers, children reinforce their understanding to how different elements can be categorized and coded. Finding the correct color, shape and row requires careful observation. This enhances their ability to focus on detail and accurately complete tasks. Writing the code based on the grid's layout introduces children to the concept of coding by associating data with a specific format. This mirrors the way data is organized in programming. By searching for specific colors and recording their codes, kids practice problem-solving skills. Placing color circles on a grid in this activity kids will use a grid to place colored circles according to the given codes the grid is organized with rows and columns each color circle has a specific code and the children will need to place these circles in the correct grid positions based on those codes each color is assigned as a specific code that indicates where it should be placed on the grid for example yellow blue red and green Kids need to match each color with the correct code and place the colored circles in the corresponding grid cells. The benefits of these activities are kids practice identifying and differentiating different colors as they place them on the grid. Using the grid to place circles helps children understand spatial relationships and positions. Reading and applying codes introduces children to basic coding concept, reinforcing the idea of instructions and data placement. Accurate placement of circles requires careful attention to ensure the correct color is placed in the right grid cell according to the code. Kids need to figure out how to correctly place each color according to the given codes. promoting problem solving and logical thinking placing circles in specific grid locations enhances fine motor skills as children handle and position small objects remembering the code and where to place each color helps strengthen memory and recall abilities this activity is a fun and interacting way to practice color recognition spatial reasoning and basic coding principles if you're gaining some knowledge out of this video don't forget to hit the like button Placing color circles according to a sequence in this activity kids will use an empty grid and a reference sheet with colors already placed on it they will follow a given sequence of codes to place the correct color circles in the empty grid based on the reference sheet a grid with labeled rows and columns where kids will place the color circles the empty grid is where kids will place the color circles the reference sheet shows the correct placement of colors in a grid format providing a visual guide The benefits of this activity is it increases visual discrimination skills. Kids practice distinguishing between different colors and matching them with specific codes and positions. This improves their ability to visually differentiate and organize information. By following a given sequence, kids learn to follow instructions step by step. This helps build their ability to complete tasks in a specific order, which is crucial skills in any activities including coding. Kids must figure out how to correctly place each color based on the given sequence and reference sheet. This encourages critical thinking and problem solving as they interpret and execute the task. Remembering which color goes where based on the sequence and reference sheet enhances memory and recall abilities, helping kids retain and apply information effectively. Placing the correct color in the right cell requires careful attention to detail. This activity helps kids improve 
their focus and accuracy. Make sure kids understand the sequence of codes and how to interpret the reference sheet before starting the activity. Coding elements in a grid matrix. In this activity, kids will use a grid matrix where rows and columns are labeled with different elements and shapes. They will need to code and place the elements in the correct cells based on the given matrix. The grid has rows and columns labeled with different elements and shapes. Each cell in the grid represents a combination of a row element and a column shape. Kids will be given a list of codes that specify which element to place in each cell of the grid. Kids will also learn to navigate and use a grid matrix which improves their understanding of spatial relationships and how to place items in specific locations. By working with codes and matching them to grid locations, kids practice basic coding concepts like using coordinates to place items. This is a fundamental skill in programming. Kids need to pay close attention to the codes and ensure they place each element in the correct cell. This promotes accuracy and careful observation. Decoding the given codes and determining the current placements encourages problem solving. Kids must figure out how to match each code to other appropriate cell. Remembering where each element should go based on the codes helps reinforce memory and recall abilities. Kids practice remembering and applying information correctly. Organizing elements in a grid according to the specific codes helps kids practice structured thinking and organization skills that are useful in both everyday tasks and coding. If you are just starting with these activities, it's perfectly okay to take it a little slow. With practice, these tasks will become easier and you'll see great progress. Don't worry if it feels challenging at first, just keep at it and you will get the hang of it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others and hit that subscribe button for more great content. If you have any questions about today's activity or need any help, free feel to leave a comment below. And don't forget to check out my Instagram for 21 days of free brain boosting activities. Thank you for watching.